Let's see if I've... <laughs> What's funny is that they just jumped to the last slide of the presentation. <laughs> so hopefully they fix that and get to the first slide. That would be wonderful. So I'm really excited about being back here. It's been a, a couple of years since we first came on stage to uh, announce our collaboration with Databricks and AMP Labs, and it's, we've been hard at work ever since. So over the past two years, we've open sourced multiple packages, including streaming SQL, web scale ML, and big deal. And of course, we continue to contribute to Spark Core, Spark R, uh, Spark SQL, Spark, 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 and continue to support other components. And we've been very hard at work to make sure that you're giving every bit of the performance and capability out of your install base. We've had 4x more performance with MLLib by integrating the Intel Math Kernel Library. Better than 30% improvement in security by improving uh, file and RPC encryption. And of course, achieving an impressive 70x scalability improvement for topic modeling. You've heard a lot of this already, but the next big wave is AI. And we believe that Intel is uniquely uh, positioned and has the experience to fuel the AI compute era. We've done this before. Mainframes, the standard-based servers, cloud computing. And AI is the fastest growing data center workload. We expect a 12x growth by 2020 in the data center alone. And this is not to mention significant usage in edge devices like cars, planes, locomotives, of course, phones and cameras. AI is poised to usher in a better world on the order of major transformations like the Industrial Revolution. AI will let us accelerate solutions on large scale problems that would otherwise take months, years, or even decades to resolve. Medical treatments will soon allow us to do drug therapy that's personalized to an individual's DNA. We also will unleash new scientific discovery. Uh, freed from human lim limitations, intelligent machines will be able to uncover new insights and realms of, and help explore the mysteries of the human brain and theories of the universe. AI will extend our human senses and capabilities, similar to the way the telescope helped us understand the universe. And of course, automation. We're already seeing early stages of automated driving and fully autonomous vehicles will not only make travel safer uh, and more productive, but also bring new mobility to the disabled and elderly, elderly people, as well as my young children who won't have to ask me for a ride to the mall anymore. <laughs> so Intel is leading the evolution of compute and helping organizations unlock new possibilities for their data and bring competitive advantages to them. And we're not just providing software and silicon, we're providing the full solution. It's gonna take hardware, accelerators, networking, storage, as well as a fully optimized software stacks for big data analytics and AI applications. From libraries and frameworks to tools and solutions. With AI on Intel, we are unleashing the next wave. Spark continues to evolve and matures to meet the enterprise needs. And Intel has been part of that journey since the very beginning. And now we're bringing deep learning to big data on Spark. Big DL is a distributed deep learning framework organically built for Apache Spark. What does that mean? Big DL was designed to achieve scale for any application built on top of it. We heard about how difficult it is to achieve scale by using Big DL, that comes for free. It works and is optimized for Xeon clusters. It has feature parity with Cafe and Torch. And of course, deep learning on big data platforms, it, as I said, enables efficient scale out while also being highly performant even on a single node. Let's watch a short video on Big DL. Organizations everywhere are developing deep learning applications to derive new insights, identify new opportunities, and uncover new efficiencies. Unfortunately, deep learning application development often means tapping into multiple frameworks, libraries, and clusters, a complex, time-consuming, and costly effort. 
Now there's a way to greatly simplify deep learning application development, decrease deployment costs, easily scale your applications, and achieve outstanding performance with Big DL. Big DL is a distributed deep learning framework organically built for Apache Spark. That means you can more easily develop deep learning applications as standard Spark programs using Scala or Python, and then run those applications on existing Spark or Hadoop clusters without expensive specialized hardware. Apache Spark enables applications to seamlessly scale across Intel Xeon processor-based nodes on a massive scale. And Big DL delivers extraordinary performance across the Intel Xeon processor-based infrastructure by leveraging the optimized Intel Math Kernel library. Plus, Big DL provides support for rich deep learning and delivers feature parity with popular open source deep learning frameworks such as CAFE, Torch, TensorFlow, and others. Customers are already benefiting from the power of Big DL. For example, a major financial services firm has developed applications to strengthen fraud detection, and a leading manufacturer is pushing the envelope on improved defect recognition. Big DL could be deployed on a variety of big data platforms. Visit the link shown here to learn more. Get that. <laughs> All right, so you saw that with Big DL just recently released in the last quarter, uh, extended support for Python. Uh, we provided support for Python APIs. As a result, you can um, run your deep learning algorithms that were built with your Python libraries, which automatically run in a distributed fashion to process large volumes of data. We now provide TensorBoard support so that you can use it to visualize and understand the behavior of big DL programs. We've also improved the robustness of big DL. Big DL is built on Spark, and ergo benefits from the automatic fault tolerance in the Spark framework. We now provide several additional improvements to inc uh, increase robustness and hopefully eliminate the dreaded DTECH multitask run error and <laughs> automatic recovery from previous snapshots. And we have new features coming in, in the second quarter, in the next month or so, right? Added support for 3D convolution. And of course, we will continue to extend our support rec recursive net and take it to Spark 2.1 and extend it to Spark 3.5. Excuse me, Python 3.5. So customers are already benefiting from big DL. This is important, right? It's not just a, a library that's out there and that's neat. It actually has been deployed and being industry tested and used. We have customers like Cloudera, Databricks, Alibaba, Cray, Microsoft, UnionPay, and Lightband. And as you saw from the video, they're already solving problems such as fraud detection. So some of the quotes, you know, Charles, the senior vice president of uh, products at Cloudera, I found that Big DL is an easy way to create native Spark data science pipelines, and Big DL is now integrated into their Cloudera data science workbench. Mark, uh, president and CEO of Lightbin Incorporated, finds that Big DL is very stable, and it's their preferred library to date for deep learning. So it's time for you to try to give it, for, to give it a spin. So we're uh, announcing free compute for Big DL, and we invite you to sign up. We're making the infrastructure available to researchers, data scientists, deep learning explorers who are ready to apply a deep learning algorithm and get the benefits of Apache Spark through Big Deal. Visit software.intel.com, uh, Big, <laughs> I think it's Big DL Compute. And we're introducing something new today. Uh, the Intel Optimize, excuse me, introducing the Optimize Analytics Package for Spark. The OAP for Spark enables online analytics processing acceleration. OAP enables customers to use Spark for their ad hoc query workloads to make full use of their memory and CPU power. And hopefully you see the theme that's building. We don't release it without actually testing it out and making sure that it's actually industry capable. 
and what we found from Lynn, director of Baidu Infrastructure Department, right, that OAP for Spark allowed them to get five times more performance for their ad hoc queries. So just to sum it up, AI is the next big wave in computing. Uh, big data is, has brought AI to enterprise, and Spark has emerged pretty much as the big data analytics OS in the data center and cloud. And Intel continues to be part of the journey, providing hardware accelerators, software tools, libraries, and frameworks to help you unleash the potential of AI. We can't do this alone. We're here because it takes this whole community to help move the world to AI. So we hope that you visit software.intel.com slash bigdl to find out more and visit us uh, today at the Intel booth number 301 to find out more about what we're doing across the board to unleash the power of AI. Thank you.